Okay, so we've had a look at some of the instructions within the 6502 CPU, and now it's time to have a look at the stack, um, because the way that the, the processor works in memory, um, page one uh, is actually the stack, and a stack or a stack frame um, is the way that the processor remembers um, stuff as it goes through, and we'll look at some of that stuff for the small program we've got there. Um, it also can be used by high level programs such as basic or, or whatever um, and they they use the stack frame to do calculations mathematical calculations so a plus b times c divided by e etc and, and they use uh, they use the stack for pushing and popping values um, in something called reverse polish notation i think uh, it's a while since i've done that so i'd have to look that up but effectively um, the 6502 uses page one but because it only uses page one and page one is is 256 bytes long the status register can actually be um, one byte in size to point to each of those memory locations because the zero one is implied and the stack grows backwards so it starts off at ff and works its way back um, towards zero zero and I've um, represented the status register here in hex, um, so that's 20 hex 32 binary, um, because this bit here, bit 5, is always a 1, and therefore, if everything else is 0, that means that it's uh, 32 binary, uh, 32 in um, decimal, or 20 in, uh, in hex. Our program counter here is pointing at C000, which is the beginning of our program, and our stack pointer is pointing at an empty stack. So in our uh, last video, we looked at how the CPU interprets instructions. Well, this one here, 38, is a mnemonic of SEC, and SEC means set the carry. Um, and that basically sets that carry bit to 1. So inside of that carry bit now, so that status register becomes 21 because the carry bit is, is, is in the 1's place. If we were to set the 0 flag, it would have incremented by 2 because the... 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128 um, locations in binary. And what we then do is we do what's called a PHP, and a PHP uh, means push the status register to the stack. So what it does, um, let me get this work the right way around, is it does, um, it basically puts 21 there, it then moves the stack pointer point to there okay so it's a post I think it's called a post decrement in this particular instance so what it does is it is it puts the value in and then decrements the stack when you do it the other way around and you pop you take things out of the stack that is they call it popping you do a post uh, you do a pre increment so you increment the stack first and then you get the value so this way around we put the value in and then then decrement the stack pointer so our next um, instruction says JSR, and we're going to C100, remember um, Little Indian, so C100 is here. So what it does is it remembers this value, there's a slight bug in the, uh, in, 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 in the 6502 in the fact that um, the return address is the actual address here, so when you do an RTS, the RTS does a return address um, plus 1. So inside of there, um, um, I may actually get used to this application at some point. So inside of there, being um, little endian, it puts the high byte first. So C1. No, that's a lie. What am I doing? Um, where are we looking? C0. That's right. And 04. Because that's the address it's returning back to, or the one after it, as it happens. It then moves the stack pointer to point there. Oops, no, it doesn't. It moves the stack pointer to point here uh, at FC. Like that. So the stack pointer again is pointing at an empty space, and the stack now has some values. Those values, by the way, the CPU is completely and utterly unaware of what they are. They 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 are been put there by you, or they've been put there by the program, you know, by some program, and it's up to the program to remember what they are. 
So if we, you know, pop that value off the stack now, and we got rid of it, move the stack pointer back down here, there would be no return address. So the program would actually fail. So the first thing that happens is it goes to the C100 and it actually does an RTS. Well, the RTS says, oh, I better have a look at what's on the stack. So the stack pointer comes back down here and the RTS takes the, um, the low byte and increments it by one. All right. So what the RTS does, I didn't bother uh, playing about the program counter before, but the program counter basically put um, gets amended. So it puts C005 into the program counter pops those two values off the stack, okay, and the stack pointer then ends up pointing back at uh, this location here, which is the uh, empty location, the next empty location. It doesn't actually clear the contents of the stack, but for all intents and purposes, that is now um, an empty location. There's nothing in it, so we will clear them just to prove that there's nothing in it, but in reality, the CPU doesn't do that. It would leave the this whatever was in there so the stack would you know the memory locations here would would have all sorts of values in them in them ultimately okay and then we do an rts but the rts is back to where the um uh, where the program course call from and in this case it would actually create a problem because that number there is the end of stack and whatever's at the beginning so we'd end up returning somewhere that we didn't want to return um, so this is to highlight that actually you can make a big mistake with your stack if you're not careful because unless you've got a calling routine um, then that RTS will try to do exactly the same thing and it will go here it will take that in as your low byte and whatever is in zero zero way up here is your high byte and try and start running code from there okay so the stack is effectively a pile like a pile of books um, and you go first in last out so the more you put on the pile you've got to take the top of the pile off before you can get down and there are various instructions within 6502 that use the stack um, and there are various ways and means of actually manipulating that and we'll come across that later on but in reality it was just a, a quick demonstration of how a stack works why you would use a stack um, and the the fact that we would have to you know within our code that we actually write we're going to have to sort of deal with this pre sort of pre-decrement post-increment kind of thing um, i'm hoping that that was quite a useful one